It's a hot ticket tonight, and we here at EA Sports are so excited to bring it to you. Along with Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. Let's get ready to play this one. As we get set for this American Hockey League showdown, we send it right side to Ray Ferraro. People don't know enough about the American League. It's a hard league. You've got young guys trying to climb up. You've got older guys trying to hang on. And it is an unpredictable, exciting league. This should be a good game. Great energy both inside and outside the arena tonight as we are just moments away now from puck drop. The Silver Knights take possession here on the opening draw and we are underway. Chicago's got a hold of it against the wall. Slides the pass over to Kovalchuk. Here's a short pass to Declare. Henderson's got possession at center. Pumps the puck away. Henderson's got a hold of it along the wall. Loses his balance on the play. That pass goes a little sideways. There's the whistle, and a penalty is coming up on this one. The Silver Knights don't like it, but they'll serve two in the penalty box. It doesn't take very long to get on the wrong side of the play. You're a step behind. You've got to slow that guy down. You can't catch him. Maybe you can get away with a hook. Not here. Just tried to play catch up and got burned. Bishops won the face off deep inside the offensive zone. Made the save on the play. Sends a pass over. The Wolves will play it from the corner. And that one's blocked. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on. Freeze the puck. Those are the saves that are gifts from the goaltender. That looked like an automatic goal. He's able to make the stop. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. We're still scoreless. The Wolves will go to work here in the offensive zone. Henderson's got possession while undermanned. Gets it out of his own end. Chicago's gained possession along the boards. Handles the pass from the right side. Takes a wrist shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Certain saves are more difficult than others. This one right from the slot is turned aside. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Spectacular open ice hit. The Wolves will play it in their own end. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. Takes the feed. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Pokes it away in his own end. Sends the pass over. Chicago's in now. Quick feed to Bishop. And that goes off a player. Pass back to the point. To the low slot. Takes it in front. Glove save, and he handles it with ease. Hey, guys, can we take another look at that replay? We don't get many hits like this anymore, but that's a textbook body check. Right there, big hit. The Wolves take possession off the faceoff. Dismiss that chance. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Grabbed along the boards by Duclair. Turned that one aside. They clear the zone. The Wolves get a hold of the puck along the boards. Both teams back to even strength. Really nice effort by the penalty killing unit on that one. Immediately, this becomes really frustrating. But as they go back to the bench, the power play will look at that and say, we did a lot of good things. We do that again the next time, we're going to score. Here he is in close. Stopped by the goaltender. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. We've still got zeros on the board. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. The Silver Knights scoop it up along the boards. Steps inside the line. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. The Wolves have it now. From the right side, they gain the zone. 
Henderson's got control of it now from their own end. Chicago's got it in the neutral zone. Lorenz plays it against the boards. Chicago's got the puck against the wall. Finds some space in the corner. Oh, great read as he pokes it away. Henderson's got it in their own zone. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. And he regains control of the puck. Moves right to the middle. There he is from the slot. Stones him in front. More than half the period has expired. The game is still scoreless. The Silver Knights win it. Here's a shot. Big time stop. Chicago's got the puck along the wall. Slides it up front. Good use of the body on the play. Slides the puck across. They've got numbers to his teammate. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. The Silver Knights have it against the wall. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Moves inside! And he makes the save. Even though that puck is delivered with great velocity, that looks like a pretty easy stop for the goalie to make. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. And that sails over the net. He likes to go up there. Most times, that's maybe the only open area on the net. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. The Wolves gain possession along the wall. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Into the attacking end. The Silver Knights gain control of the puck against the wall. Grabs it in his own end. Moves the puck. Gains the zone through center. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And puts it. He scores! When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. Henderson's first goal of the game is a timely one here, Ray. We talked this morning about whether these two teams would play a defensive or offensive game. The thought was that they'd score a lot. Hasn't Anderson been that case so far. By number 23, Dumps Brown, it in. Assisted by number four, and as he stumbles, he coughs up the puck. Battle along the boards. Minutes, Trying to get back on the attack now. He grabs the puck here at the point. And he comes up with it. Chicago's got the puck along the boards. And he takes a shot, comes up with the stop. Really smooth stop here as he deflects this puck into the corner out of danger. The Silver Knights are on the attack. Move to the middle. Here he is in front. He scores. It's in, and I believe that's his first. Congratulations, his first goal. I don't think anybody expects much offense from him, but it's still got to feel good. Tight to the net, he doesn't have much time, and that snapshot beats the goaltender from the low slot. The Wolves have had their opportunities, but they just can't capitalize here in the late stages of the opening period. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Moves it to Declare. Let's it fly. Stopped by the goaltender. And 
and that'll do it. Period number one is in the books. It's 2-0 after the opening frame. Pretty good start for one side, not so much for the other. And while both teams get a refresher, we'll take one ourselves heading into the second period. Shane Slavowski, Ray Ferraro bringing you all the action. Period number two is about to go. Well, after an intriguing opening period, here we go. It's period number two. Puck is dropped, and we are underway. One period already in the books. Ray, how have you seen this thing? Ferguson's had lots of pad taps in that first period, James. I don't know what the score might look like if he wasn't so good. Makes a move, and the puck hops away from him. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. The Silver Knights take possession in the defensive end. Henderson's looking to break out. And it's a quick pass to Yurko. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. The Wolves take it across the blue line. Nice poke check. Henderson's got the puck in the defensive end. Centering pass! You'll need more than that to beat him. Ferguson's goaltending at one end and the offensive output at the other has made for a good night. And makes the save. Chicago's looking to convert on some of these chances. They've had plenty of opportunities, but have been snake-bitten thus far. Bishop's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Rings the iron! Chicago's players are frustrated as they have a really good scoring chance, but it hits the post and doesn't close the gap. Strong defensive effort. Chicago's got a hold of it against the wall. The Wolves move it in at center ice now. He grabs the puck. Here's a shot. Denies him. He got all of it. This is so frustrating. You make a good shot, you beat the goaltender, and you don't get rewarded. It hits too much of the post and stays out. Still lots of time left in the period. Henderson's got some breathing room as they lead it 2-0. Quick pass to Hickey. Turns it away. I think through traffic like that, you're just hoping the thing hits you. Gains the zone. Skates to the crease. Wrist shot from the slot. He was locked in there. Quick glove hand here. He gets the glove out to make the stop. Ferguson's been on his game right since the puck hit the ice for the first time. No matter how much pressure he's been under, he's been calm and he's stopped everything so far. The Wolves have had a lot of good looks offensively, but they still trail in the second. Chicago's got it in their own zone. Oh, and comes up with nothing on the play. Knocked off the puck. Ahead of steam now towards the front, and he can't hang on after that hit. Chicago's got a hold of it along the wall, and that's blocked. Right out front, and that's picked off. I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. Past the halfway mark of this period, we've got a 2-0 game here tonight. Chicago's won the draw. Slides it back to the blue line. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Henderson's gonna play it from the corner. From the slot, big save. Denies him again. Stop one, stop two. The goalie makes a couple of excellent saves. Fires it into the offensive zone. Henderson's gained possession along the boards. Gets a hold of the puck here in his own end. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. The Wolves look to start the transition game. Passes it over to Forsling. Chicago's got the puck against the half wall. He was right there, and they can't convert. Puck grabbed by Jones. Here they come on the attack. The Wolves get a hold of it. Here's a shot with the stop. Oh, and another big stop. Quick reflexes. You make one, you make two stops before the puck is cleared away. Quick shot. Stopped by the goaltender. 
The Silver Knights take it along the wing. From one point man to another. Denies him in front. The Wolves take it along the wall. Chicago's on the attack. Puck scooped up by Kovalchuk. Stick save for the goalie. Smothered that in close chance. The Silver Knights will play it from the defensive zone. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Takes a shot with the stop. That's a dangerous scoring chance, but the goaltender makes a great save as he's able to snuff it out. The Wolves have had no shortage of good looks so far tonight, but they still trail here as we approach the second intermission. Henderson's got a hold of the puck. Last the Silver Knights will play it in their own end. Period. Takes the pass. With possession along the wall. Jabs the puck away. And that'll do it for period number two. Henderson's been excellent in their own end. They have given up absolutely nothing, and they lead it to zip. Please don't throw any objects on or towards the play surface at any time during... Third period is just around the corner, so don't even think about putting that controller down. Been a great night for hockey so far. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. Let's drop the puck on this third period. Moment of truth for one team. Here we go. Third period is underway. Once again, I'll send it back down to my broadcast partner, Ray Ferrar. Scores! Well, how does this change the perception of this game now? Well, all of a sudden, the other team's back on their heels. They're only one goal behind now. They keep pushing. Maybe you get another. And the goalie's going to look at his teammates and say, is anybody going to cover the high slot? He was so open, he was able to hammer home the one-timer. The Wolves are back at center ice, probably breathing a little easier now, Ray. They needed to get one, James. If you trail by two for too long, the clock just runs out on you. You run out of time. Score. Declare's got the puck. Uses the force on that hit. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Stopping the play. Time of the goal, 43 seconds. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Chicago's trailing by one. Henderson's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Streaking into the attacking zone from the right. Here he is, wrists on net. Too many bodies in the way. Chicago's got a hold of the puck. The Wolves move it ahead. Here's a chance. Henderson's got the puck in their own end. And player hauled down to the ice. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up here. And the puck stopper tags his man to get the extra attacker on the ice. Let's get the call here. So often in a, in a shifty little play that you're trying to get to the puck, you get your stick in the wrong spot, he steps on your stick, and there's nothing you can do. A chance to capitalize here on the power play. They just can't take a penalty like this. This is the best power play in the league, and when they have the man advantage, they're so dangerous. They've got the lead, and they'd like to increase it. There's reflexes on display tonight. There's always a next level to making a save. Step two is get the puck out of danger. He does a nice job there. Nice pass. A chance right in front, blocked in traffic. The Silver Knights get a hold of the puck along the boards. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Takes the feed. Let's it go, and there's the save. Drives to the paint. Again, the denial by the goaltender. Oh, he's on it there. Both saves are really good ones. The Silver Knights scoop it up along the boards. The Wolves get a hold of the puck under man. Slides it over with pace to Thompson. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. The Silver Knights have it against the wall. Chicago's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. 
McCormick's got it against the boards. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Comes up with the stop. Well, what a quick reflex stop that is. Great scoring chance. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. It's a 2-1 game. The Wolves win the faceoff. Bringing the physicality tonight. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Hammers a shot. Denies him on the slapper. Takes the puck along the boards. Big save by the goaltender once again. Really sharp. Never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. Ah, uh, he'll check his stick after this. He makes the save on a really good scoring chance. The Wolves still trail in this third period despite numerous scoring opportunities. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Picks up the puck in his own end. Solid check to slow him down. Takes a bump and loses control of the puck. The Wolves have it now. Pass it up ahead. Chicago's got the puck along the wall. Receives the pass. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Poked away by the goaltender. Into the corner, he takes the pass. The Wolves gain possession along the wall. Henderson's gained possession. Gaining momentum along the wing. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. There's the whistle. And let's hear what the official's explanation on this one is. Uh, you react, you go to get the puck, and you stick your stick into the guy's feet. Down you go. Two minutes off to the box. Another chance here on the man advantage. Haven't had a lot of power plays tonight, but when they jumped over the boards to come out for the draw, they were huddled together, having a little meeting to make sure they're on the same page. Two, two minutes, Through three, center along the wing. Penalty. Ten minutes, one second. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Fires one and makes a save. The Silver Knights move the puck in the defensive zone. Sends a pass over. Here's a short pass to Brown. The Wolves get a hold of the puck in the open ice. Excellent stick work on the play. The Wolves gain control of the puck against the wall. Oh, a violent collision against the wall. No matter what you do, that's never going to feel good. The Silver Knights move to the offensive zone. Manages to hang on. Hammers one. He scores! Putting the special in special team. Now the coaches have been talking about a few new wrinkles on the power play. They move the puck nicely, and the puck is in the back of the net on the power play. Man, these burn the coaching staff. When they see a player get open in the high slot, the first thing they're going to look for is who's supposed to be standing near him. Henderson's insurance marker has really widened the gap here in the back half of the third. And now it turns into a little bit of a free-for-all. They're comfortable with their two-goal lead, but the other guys, you know they're going to be pressing the play, trying to get back in it. There's the whistle. Penalty coming up. The Silver Knights are going to be shorthanded, tripping the call. He's going to look up at the big board and see that. You know what? That's a trip for sure. He got his stick in the wrong spot. Tripped up the player. Chicago's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Browns won the faceoff. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. And they get it down. Yeah, good communication. They talk to each other. They're in the right spot. They just clear it down the ice. Sends it over. Makes the save. Ferguson's going to hang on for a whistle here in the third. Well, there's not much time left here as you get into the final 20 minutes. The game's close. A mistake now would be critical. Cleveland's up next on the schedule. Always a tough test, it feels like, in this league, isn't it? Yeah, the prep will go once you get past this current game. Some guys don't want to know who's next. 
Some guys want to know everything in advance. Takes a shot, makes the easy save with the glove. And another stop. Yeah, he's pretty good positioning here, James. He makes the two stops back to back. Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. The Silver Knights have been getting solid offensive contributions, leading 3-1. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Duclair is working it around in the corner. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Up to the challenge as he gets his pad on it. Ferguson's got the puck, and he'll hang on for the whistle. Well, in a close game, you've got to be in control of things, and he's had an excellent night so far. Oh, that's a nifty save there. The shot changes direction, and he's able to make the save anyway. Chicago's Achilles heel tonight has been finding offense as they trail here in the third. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. The Silver Knights will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty now. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. Chicago's got it behind the net. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Hammers it on net, just wide of the net. Quick feed down low. Sends it out right in front. Stopped by the goaltender. Henderson's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. Chicago's got the puck along the boards. Nothing doing on that. Chicago's got the puck against the boards. The Silver Knights take over on possession. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. The Silver Knights gain possession of the defensive zone. Good clearing attempt to breathe. Solid effort by the penalty killing unit as the power play comes up empty. It can't be much better than that from the PK. They do the job and they're able to retain their lead. Henderson's got a hold of it against the wall. Slides the puck over. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Nothing! Hit the net. No chance to score if you don't get the puck on target. And he denied that opportunity. Moves it quickly over to Yurko. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Handles the pass at center. Tees him up. Oh, he gets a piece of it with the glove. Ferguson's going to hang on and just let things settle down for a moment. He really didn't have many options to play the puck, but no. in a close game, you want to be sure every time you do. Oh, that's a key save to keep his team in the lead. Really solid work by the goaltender. Here in the late goings of the period, crowd's been into this one right from the get-go. It's 3-1. Moves it to Yurko. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Moves it around along the half wall. We got a delayed penalty coming up here as the ref's hand goes up in the air. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. The Silver Knights will lose a man tripping the call. Once he puts up his little token argument here, he's going to circle around a bit and try and regroup here as he goes to the penalty Were you box. a haggler? Always. You never think it's the right call. As we're about to drop the puck, the power play unit back out onto the ice for another opportunity. I'll be curious to see, James, if they go to the cross crease one time or they were working on it in practice yesterday. Another stop by the goaltender. What a stop! Ferguson's gonna cover it up. He's been busy tonight, Ray. And been good. A lot of times you get busy and worn down. I think that's why you jump on it, freeze it in a close game. We're gonna back this up again and get another look at this stop the goalie makes. He makes a solid save on a really dangerous chance. Chicago's running out of time. They need to find a goal here quickly as they trail late in the third. Maybe a little too fine there, James. He's trying to make that a perfect shot. It's such a good chance at scoring a goal. So close on the play. Chicago's got the puck behind the net. Nice zone entry from the left. Sends it across. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. And the puck clears the zone. Quick feed to Forsling. Slides the puck over to Bishop. Big play inside the defensive zone. Oh, they score! Good effort onto the puck. They get into the zone clean and then set it up and are able to cash in. into the net. The 
The Wolves have got a big one here in the third now. Well, you got to be careful that the clock melts away fast on you, but now they've got a chance. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Under a minute to go here in regulation time. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Scores! Oh, that was a beauty! Just 20 seconds apart. That's a pair of goals. You wonder what momentum is. Two quick goals will do it. They chipped away and chipped away. It didn't seem like they were going to be able to make it all the way back. But this is a terrific comeback. Chicago's goal has tied things up late in this third period. Two ways to go about this, James. You attack and try and win it now, or you protect the point by getting it to overtime. Chicago Taken by Murphy. They fight for it along the boards. Kirby. Chicago's got a hold of it along the wall. Pucks it away in his own end. Big time play right there. He gets a piece of it with a stick. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. Good hit on the play. Puck picked up by Dupuyer. Wow. He scores! And the deadlock's been broken. Now you get a chance to control the pace of the game. It's tough to do it in a tie game. Now you've got the lead. Oh, what a great moment for them. So much emotion as they break the tie, take the lead with that late goal. The Wolves lead it late in this third period. This neutral zone faceoff set to go, and we are back underway. Henderson's looking to break out. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Henderson's across the blue line. Ferguson's made his way quickly to the bench, and the extra attacker is now out on the ice. The Silver Knights came close, but not close enough, Ray. Maybe that's the step they need to, to get themselves out of this mess, is that while the losing streak continues, they played well tonight. Maybe their best game in the last couple. Well, this one's in the books. A fun one tonight for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Good night.